Welcome to your magical moon message. This is the piece of the dealer and we will be discussing the moon in Capricorn with of course the sun in Pisces. Welcome back to the gauntlet. The gauntlet is an astrological, uh, I'm not going to say principle, but event that occurs every two weeks, let's just say, where the moon will transit the other half of the zodiac. We have the south node in Sagittarius, we have Pluto in Capricorn, we got Saturn in Aqua, we have Neptune in Pisces, we have Chiron in Aries, we have Uranus in Taurus, we have the north node in Gemini. The moon going through Sag to Gemini is not only ringing each of these parts, but represent the holistic nature of how all these energies are one cyclically, your impending evolution. I see a truck that said universal. I think it means something, especially when I said holistic. But other than that, you know, this happening during Pisces season, out of all the gauntlets that we've had, this is going to be the gauntlet of all gauntlets. You have to understand every moon in Pisces, this is where every moon in Capricorn is where we come into every month an awakening deeper and deeper into the sun sign expression of your abilities and Pisces being the last sign holistically puts this all together so that we can come into some ultimate meaning. And so with the moon that's going to be transiting Pluto, you are awakening incredibly transcendent magical abilities. The incredible power going into the transcendent awareness is going to make this transit one of the most incredible that will do a whole lot to awaken and transform your understanding of how well and incredibly you utilize innate, latent, supernatural abilities and be able to be aware of this in a transcendent way. So let's talk about it because in between the moon and cap, we have Jupiter and Aquarius, we have Saturn and Aquarius. And so this isn't just a moon and Capricorn transit. Remember everything that the cardinal direction of the moon moves forward is going to facilitate deeper understanding as it goes into Aquarius and then as it transits into Pisces. Everything that the moon in Capricorn serves to ground and make sense of, you're going to expand your knowledge through Aquarius, but this is all leading into the new moon. Moon in Capricorn is 11th house from the sun in Pisces. 11th house is hopes and wishes being made real. It's gains from career. And this moon in Sag did a whole lot to ascend <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. This moon in Sagittarius did a whole lot to ascend your career. So you need to watch what you did in your career. And I'm laughing because what I did for my career was make that crazy ass skit with the Leo King where, uh, you know, I got syphilis. Holla at me, ladies. I may have HIV, but, you know, I don't have COVID. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm coughing from the bubonic plague. But other than that, yeah. Um, you know, Sag is kind of comedic. Sag is really lighthearted. But what did you, what did, what happened for you? Because this is everything you're manifesting coming into the moon in Capricorn. And it's even more important because your ability to really own up and harness much of this power. Capricorn is integrity through power of character. Okay. This is why this is huge, guys. Pluto is going to definitively awaken this at 26 degrees. Um, it's coming out of its own shadow period. So not only are you awakening the height of your supernatural power, we have all year and last year been going through this gauntlet. The moon has been going through Pluto every month. And so this is the part where it's going through at the highest degree that it's been. Please understand that the Pluto return for America is at 27 degrees, people. And Mars is about to be a cancer opposite where the apocalypse cycle started. So you're seeing the destruction of one monolith being reborn. And it's not a bad thing. It's a thing. What are you doing? Where are you in your life? What are you contributing here? Because the moon going through Pluto is awakening this collective soul space while the sun is inches away inches is the wrong word is moments away from neptune so neptune transcends our perspective 
Shout out to Neptune. Neptune is psychic abilities, psionic abilities. Watch the disastrous life of Psyche K. If you want a visual of what it's like to be Neptune, Pisces are constantly holding back their power because they have to fit in and be normal. Otherwise, you know, their mutant abilities will, will leak out. And, you know, y'all call them weird, even though they could be a bit strange. But other than that, you know, being, being, being that awakened could just be a bit strange. Shout out to Pisces. Shout out to Neptunians. Shout out to Moon Neptune. Sun Neptune. So, like, be very mindful. This is no joke. The moon in Capricorn is going to awaken your ability through Neptune to perceive beyond this reality. And the first thing you're going to perceive coming into moon in Aqua is the knowledge of your high transcendence. That's why the balsamic phase is going to release everything you thought you knew because now you're fucking flying and shit. And when you awaken the power to fucking fly, you're going to feel stupid. Like, why the fuck am I paying car insurance when I can fucking fly? This is happening this week. This is happening this weekend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me remind this. Let me remind this. Because... <laughs> The, uh, uh, I'm titling this transit, Moon in Capricorn, Sun in Pisces, happening today and tomorrow, Awakening Incredibly Transcendent Magical Abilities, because the incredible awakening is Moon in Capricorn on Pluto in Capricorn, and that's converting to your awareness of transcendent abilities. This is it, y'all, okay? Trust me when I say, it's not coming out of nowhere. The past year and a half, you've already accepted you're a super magical mf'er okay and if you're not an effer of mothers i apologize you still have to accept you're a badass motherfucker some of you are still blocking yourself because you don't believe you're a badass motherfucker you feel like you're too you're too classy to be a badass motherfucker you feel like no that's just not right to say and so you won't acknowledge that deep in your soul you're a badass motherfucker you're still alive i don't think you know we're being picked off out here you're still alive you're a badass it's okay it's okay, and Pluto is gonna help you awaken to the fact that even if you don't F mothers, you're still a mother effer. There's still that badass part of you inside, and there's nothing you can do to not awaken this. You, watching me, you are a badass mother effer. And don't let you not effing mothers let you forget that you're a badass mother effer. And this is what, you know, the moon square in Chiron in the beginning of this transit, as it trines Uranus will challenge, you're going to try and resist some of you, the badass mf -ery that you, you just are, and this is not going to work. You're just going to keep reminding yourself. And, 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 and at this stage of the gauntlet, you're going to release old habits that really just disrespect the progress you've made and don't necessarily account for the improvement of character that you've had. Resting on your old mistakes isn't going to work anymore because you're just looking at the mirror like, damn, I'm a badass mother ever. I'm a badass mother ever. Like, damn. I did this, I did that, I did that, this is gonna catch up to you. See, you know, people are worried about all the bullshit catching up to you. Today, you know, all the amazing, incredible stuff you've suppressed is gonna catch up to you. Seriously, spirit, like, that's the energy I'm feeling from spirit. Spirit's like kind of pissed off, like, do you know, Michael, you're talking to badass MFers who don't even want, they're trying to downplay their badassery, like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm badass every day, but it's all, I mean, it's not that dope. And it's like, yes, it is, motherfucker. Yes, it is, motherfucker. You are a mother effer. And some of you, some of you need to identify as that. Y'all, y'all still bringing up gender. I'll give them that. The gender fluidity is, is, it does exist. But, but y'all need to all identify as badass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Before they cancel the, the, the terms father and mother and we can still use them while they're still available. But other than that, you know, um, shout out to Mr. Potato Head. He didn't get canceled. Hasbro, you're not as dumb as we thought. Shout out to you. Other than that, uh, dumb jokes aside, this is so very important because this level of transcendence, now with the power of Capricorn at this level, because this is all gradual, you're not just going to pick up and fly. We had to go through Sagittarius season to show you that you're already doing elements of this unconscious to you. A lot of what you're going to break through in today and tomorrow is not based off of stuff that has happened out of nowhere. It's based off of supernatural aspects of yourself that you've been doing for a long time, okay? You're just so much more aware and understanding of these facets of yourself than you have ever been. And so when a lot of you literally just up and fly, 
I hope that makes sense. Awakening that moon in Capricorn to transcend your experience and do something that you thought was impossible until you realize, well, how impossible can this be because I'm doing it on accident? It's a transit like this that takes the stuff unconsciously you do on accident coming into the balsamic phase where you do it on purpose, son. And if there's one thing that I wish to bless you with, it's to awaken to the fact today that all the meaningless money you spend on gas guzzling cars and car insurance has always been meaningless because you can fucking fly. I know everyone, see, most of you would still buy a car because it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Just because you can fly doesn't mean you can't drive. I'm not saying don't drive. I'm saying stop paying these fucking thieves car insurance. Please, please. The revolution starts with us, B. There's no reason. Y'all should be paying Verizon. Shout to Verizon. I love Verizon. But like, motherfucker, we got telepathy. The shit's free. The shit's free. So you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Leavers. If you, uh, I'm sending telepathic memes. If you laugh, it's because of me. But come on, B. Today is going to really challenge that. If you start feeling stupid, because it's like, wait, how much of this stuff have I been lied to and said that I needed with my natural event? It's going to be a day like today. And it's not gonna come on fully. You know, it's just gonna be hinting at you. So when it does, remember my voice. And then there's this one thing that you need to get from this. Some of you are still paying car insurance. Now, if you're paying home insurance, if you're paying any type of insurance, eh, it's all, it's all a scam. It's all a scam. But it's, it's not like it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? But some of you are paying for car insurance. Listen to me. Some of you can teleport. Aquarius? Second deck and Libras? Like, I don't understand y'all. Okay? And I'm not gonna... I'm still driving Lyft. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna really... I'm not gonna really, like, shame y'all, but... Come on, y'all. We need to do better. Why are we making these insurance companies rich? You know what I'm saying? Like, you you, you can fly. You can fly. Listen. 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 Especially of a Gemini moon or a Gemini sun... I really want to open you up to the controversial, crazy nature of what I'm saying. Because things are crazy first before you step into the radicalness of it. And I'm not talking about... The, the worst thing is, it's not like we're awakening new genetics. We, we've we been able to fly. Niggas just lied to us. Because this is the finesse. Okay, so like, only thing we're upgrading is how easily we can fly. So listen... I'm crazy as fuck, but if there's one thing that I'm begging you get, I first of all, I said, prepare for war, my friends, because listen, the apocalypse started with Mars and Capricorn, and since then, it's about to be in Cancer. Do you know we're going? Listen, y'all, stop paying car insurance and fly. Don't, don't just jump off a cliff like you can fly. Go watch Gohan teaching Videl how to fly. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Go watch Gohan. Go to YouTube and type, Gohan teaches Videl how to fly. That is undeniable proof you can fly. And, and you know, if you want to join the I Ain't Playing Car Insurance Club, holla at me. And, 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 you know, let today remind you that you can glide, fly, levitate, teleport, and until next time.